Little slalom, keep going. Nice save, beautiful. My whole career has been very diversified in motorsports. I've, I've done, started off with doing hill climbs and sprint meetings and some rallies and some road racing and saloons and single seaters. So I've, I've really run all sorts of different cars, from speedway and midget cars and so on. And um, after my professional career ended, I didn't want to stop driving because I enjoy racing and driving so much. So I got invited to do Target New Zealand back in um, 2001. It was the first time we did it. I've driven every time in Target for Ford in New Zealand. They've always provided the cars or provided sponsorship and support lately for the, for the Ford GT that we built. The Target New Zealand rally is held um, in the North Island New Zealand, starting in Auckland, and it's run over six days. There's about 200 entries, all the cars um, start at the, the base of Auckland, and then we move down the country to a different city every night. And every 30 seconds, a car leaves. And so you'll run a stage that might be anything from 8 kilometres long to 54 kilometres long. They average usually in the, in the high 20, 30 kilometres uh, in length. And some of them are tight and twisty and, and in the mountains and that, and some of them are just wide open, fast countryside, which is what the GT loved, of course. There's not many places in the world that you can do this kind of thing, and it's really, it's a dream of getting in your favourite car and going as quick as you can on, on, on a piece of great road. The GT is not the ultimate car to win Targa because over six days you're going to get some rain, there's no doubt, and that's where the four-wheel drive cars really shine. Um, and the four-wheel drive cars like the rally cars like the Evos and the Subarus and the Skylines and that, they're very, very good on country type roads. And the Ford GT was never developed for that. The Ford GT was really an offshoot of a great sports car that was very, very successful at fast tracks like Le Mans and Daytona and so on. When Ford came out with the GT, I thought they did such a good job of building it and to resemble the car of, of 40 years ago. The first year was very much about learning about the car, really, because we got the car late. And our goal there the first year was just to complete the event. So we did that. We came back with that experience and knowledge and we rebuilt the car entirely with different suspension, different clutch, uh, more horsepower, bigger AP racing brakes, um, some other aerodynamic parts of the car, and just lots of little things. And, and none of them were very huge or significant, but, but combined, it really made the car a much better car. So this year, we had a car that accelerated much better, it handled much better, and it braked much better, and, and we were a lot quicker. We changed the diff ratio, we had a diff ratio made for the, for the four GT gearboxes um, and, and that was a huge difference because the first year we were using first and second gear a lot and oftentimes you'd arrive at a corner and there really wasn't the best gear for a corner so you had to sort of be swapping between gears a lot. But this year the ratio made a huge difference and we always were in the right gear at the right corner and stuff like that and using second, third and fourth the majority of the time. In most cases the driver drives the entire event and has a navigator. This year I had my son Kyle with me. Well basically my job is to kind of manage the time for the day. Um, we have a certain amount of time to get from the opening uh, of ceremonies, whether it be pulling out of the parking garage or wherever we stayed that night, to the first event. And we'll have anywhere from four events in a day to eight stages in a day. And it's only about eight or nine kilometers long this stage, isn't it? Uh, this one is eight kilometers long. Uh -huh. And then during the stage, once we're actually strapped in, uh, I'm in charge of basically letting him know, you know, in five kilometers you have a 90 degree left, stay left. 90 left, 90 left. Left, left. Go, go. It was great with Kyle because he actually helped with the preparation of the car, so he knew it a lot as well. And he's very good at reading around the banks. And, and you'd be surprised, he's only like we're only four feet apart in the car, four or five feet apart in the car, but he, around left-hand corners with a bank on the inside, he can see the exit of that corner quicker than I can, if I'm cutting it tight. So he will call at its opening and I can, you know, be wide up and throttle before I can actually see where that corner's going. Carry it, carry it, carry it, open! And you can pick up time like that a lot, you know, you can pick up a second here and there and everywhere and that, that, that adds up. And my duties this year were the co-driver and navigator for the event and uh, got about halfway through the rally doing that and then uh, saw a spectator as my job. <laughs> because the car was developed more than that, it gave me a lot more confidence too and I think I drove a lot harder. Yeah. 
Inside. I didn't quite realize that the forces that the car puts you through are, are pretty tough. And unfortunately, I got sick on a couple of the stages and uh, had to jump out of the car. And we gave it over to Conrad Healy, who um, is a good friend of Dad's. He's been working on every rally that Dad's actually worked in. I drove for seven years for Nissan in sports car racing. I had a lot of success and we won championships and lots of races with them. So my association has been a lot more with Nissan as a factory than with Ford. And um, the GTR, well that's the future. And um, in fact we're starting to build a car now, a, a target car with the GTR. And, um, and that's something I'm really looking forward to because it, it's much more suited, to be honest, with the Targa event than the GT is. And it does everything right. It's, it's one of the best things that I do all year round, is, is to, to do six days of just balls out driving. And so everyone knows that they have a great road, so I imagine it was closed and the police were there and everything was legal, and you're in your car just driving as hard as you can. It's, it's the best.